Trust me, I am not actually sure what this frame is, what material it's made of or anything. Uh, but today I'm going to make a fixed gear out of it. I've wanted to make myself a little uh, flat bar fixed gear just to cruise around on for a while because the path bases are you know, a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to turn this into fixed gear, talk through it, uh, yadda yadda yeah. So as with all the builds now, I'm going to try and link all the parts I used today, all the new parts, in the description. So if you need to find any, then uh, there'll be some links down below. But as I said, this frame is slightly mysterious to me. Um, it's labelled as a, a G Cerrone, a Giuseppe Cerrone frame, and apparently, according to that sticker right there, it's made with Columbus SLX tubing. However, checking the weight um, and the sort of designs of the tube versus that sticker, I'm not entirely sure it is Columbus SLX. Um, the weight's slightly off, like this is like 2.5 kilos for the frame without the bottom bracket in. Um, and according to the interwebs, a tube set for a SLX tubing should be around 1.9 kilos. So there's quite a big difference there. Maybe the lugs account for that. I don't know, but yeah, not entirely sure. It doesn't have the rifling inside. It does, however, have some fairly nice lugs. Um, these, yeah, nice pointed ones. I'm going to colour in these in, in black. Um, but the frame has been, apparently, I would say, maybe powder coated. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure it's original colour. Because we've got a bit of rust coming through, so... I'm going to keep the yellow, but I'm going to get rid of all the decals because, you know, I'm not entirely sure it is this frame and, uh, I don't know, they're, they're half peeling off anyway, so they shouldn't be too hard to get off. I'm just going to use a bit of heat and uh, take them off. Actually, no, it has been painted. There's a little head badge underneath here, which I'm not... Yeah, I'm going to peel these stickers off, clean up the frame probably work with the yellow. I was gonna go raw but I'll probably work with the yellow and uh, see what we can do. The only thing I can verify is Italian on this frame is the bottom bracket. Um, that is definitely an Italian bottom bracket and the threads were disgusting in there. Um, it looks like someone's like beat up like the, the shell needs a, a face to be honest, but that bottom bracket has been carefully, carefully wound in there now because the threads were an absolute nightmare. Um, and the seller doesn't want to know any of this, like the seller is just not responding to me. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to turn into a fixed gear because I'm not sure of the provenance of this frame and yeah, let's get building. So, the frame got cleaned down, uh, peeled all the decals off, just used a dull uh, standing blade to do that. And then other decals I used some uh, heat gun, just to soften up the glue. And as you can see, I filled in the little triangles that are on the lugs in some black so that looks a heck of a lot better now actually the whole frame looked a heck of a lot better once I cleaned it down um, went over it with some thinners just to take off the uh, glue residue and then went over the whole frame with muck off mixed with actually a bit of rubbing compound on some cloth on a cloth just to really give it a good clean um, and as you can see I went over it and flicked a load of green and black paint over just to give it the splatter look. 
I know it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but I actually, <laughs> I actually really like how it turned out. Um, I used some aerosol, used some spray paint, so there's a bit of green spray paint on there and a bit of black. Um, the idea actually came from uh, Laura Kampf, who used spray paint on a trailer, because um, she said, if you use the spray paint, it dries a heck of a lot quicker. Um, so you don't have to wait as long for it to dry and it's been maybe an hour and um, it dried after like 15 minutes or so but it's been maybe an hour now so I'm ready to reassemble everything um, and yeah it worked really well with the aerosol just sprayed it into a pot got a brush and flicked it over it's a bit of a you've got to work out your stroke and your, the amount you've got on your brush because the thick spots are where I dipped in a, maybe a bit too much and, a, and flicked it on um, and then the lines as well if you get a really good on it you can uh, get some lines in that but I do like how it's turned out and it looks a lot better than just the plain frame now I'm going to be running a one inch one inch headset in here, uh, threadless. Sun is going to be changing all the time, so um, yeah, this is just a cheap headset. Just pressed it in the normal way, you know, with a um, th bit of threaded rod, a couple of washers. It's got some loose, not loose, it's got some cage bearings, top and bottom. Um, and I've actually got a carbon fork, did I say that? Carbon fork going on with a control tech stem. There we go. And some uh, alloy bars. So it should be fairly lightweight. Let's drop the top cap on. This rubber washer, as it's a cheap set. Slide the fork up. Got a nice little just carbon spacer just to go over the top. And as the carbon is a little bit tight on the stem, I'm just gonna. Can you even see that? Nope. As the carbon is a little bit tight on the stem, I'm just gonna put a bit of hairspray. On there, There we go. Top cap gets done up first, and then the stem bolts. I always run a brake on a fixed gear, just a front brake. So I've just got this caliper. Uh, is it tech true? Who knows? I'm definitely going to need a lever, so Tektro flat bar lever, brand new. And they're going to be followed up with some DMR death grips in camo.
the wheel set that I've gone for is a brand new set of the Miche Express wrapped in the Continental Grand Sport race tyres. These should go right in. They're not the most expensive. Fixed gear wheels on the market. Um, so we'll keep an eye on the spoke tensions. But they look decent. Hoi fit. For the rear, for the gearing, one for an 18 tooth cog. Just a generic one. Um, fortunately for me, for some reason, this rear of the bike is 120 mil which is pretty much exactly what this wheel set is. I uh, don't know why it's only 120 mil. Maybe it's a very early frame, but it worked out. So we've got the 18 on the rear. For the crank set, I've gone for something that I've had before. This beautiful strong light number uh, and I've got 110 mil button bracket in there which should hopefully give me a fairly decent chain line I have to double check it all uh, but yeah we'll see 110 mil if not I'll just swing the ring onto the back side Oh, and this is a 48 tooth ring, so 48, 18. For the chain, run for this gold KMC number. Uh, I've measured the links. This should be good here. God, the wind is terrible today. Oh no, that should be all right. And for the pedals, gone for these Welgo M919 clipless pedals. They actually came with the adapters as well uh, to make them into flats. There we go. Spell it. Guys, there we go. It's done. I mean, fixed gears aren't hard to make out of uh, old road bikes. Just got to make sure that horizontal dropout is there and uh, you try and get the chain line as best as possible. But you know, it's, it's really simple. Um, that has turned out actually really nice. I, I was going to do a raw steel build again for myself, uh, but just coming across this Italian bike and having the problems with it sort of meant that I changed my plans for it and went with this black and yellow build which looks awesome. The splatter paint turned out really well. Um, 
I mean, even the yellow decals on the carbon fork have matched the frame, so yeah, it's worked out really well. i um, really impressed with it. So I can't go out on a ride on it just yet. Um, it's windy as hell today, so I can't really take the drone out for a flight. Um, and I've also <laughs> done my back in again, but it does feel really like just riding it around, just the driveway. Um, 4818 should be all right for me at the moment. But before I was running a 4813. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, especially with the skinny tires. Um, it's a nice comfortable position with the flat bars. The control tech stem, I know it's got the clamp belt on the top. Um, I wanted it angled up, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue because normally they're on the underside. Um, and also the decals would be upside down if I did it that way. So that's the way up I'm having it. Alloy bars, nice death grip grips. I'm honestly super impressed how this uh, splatter paint came out. If you've done it yourself, if you've got any tips, then uh, feel free to you know, leave them in the comments or even if you want to send me your splatter paint DIY bikes on Insta, then go ahead and I'll, uh, I'd like to see what sort of styles people have gone for. But yeah, I think the, uh, the plain yellow would have looked a bit boring. Now it's got the green and black splatter on. Kind of matches up the camo grips. Um, yeah, really impressed. And this wheel set does actually have a single speed side. So if I want to run single speed, I do have the other brake to put on the rear, but I haven't put that on just yet because I want to run it fixed. But I do have the possibility to add that on when it's single speed. I've got another lever, another brake caliper, um, and it won't be too much of a trouble to do that. So really hope you enjoyed this little fixed gear build. Um, I'm going to enjoy riding it, that's for sure. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and share the video around because everything like that helps me out, helps the channel grow and all that. Um, and yeah, I'll do a fixed gear riding video. I have no idea how to skid on them. So maybe if you've got some tips for that, let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, stick around if you want to see more and I'll catch you in the next video.